Hey, this is Chris. How you doing? You notice I have my sunglasses on because the sun has actually peeked through the clouds a few times. So that kind of shows you where we're at today. We are experiencing mostly cloudy skies um, and in intermittent rain. Intermittent hard rain. So we're getting bands. We're like, I think it's like the third band. Like there's a main band or the second band second band of rain <clears throat> away from the hurricane eye which is kind of gone now but you know still has a still has rotation on it so there's like a main band that's that's uh, reaching up through the sand hills which is like Lillington Dunn Goldsboro places down south well south of us uh, like Goldsboro 60 miles 70 miles from our house <clears throat> Holly Springs, uh, Fuquay, some towns like that. There's this main band that's fairly wide. It's going through pretty steadily. And then there's a second band that's up around us that, uh, you know, we'll get some hard rain for about 10 or 15 minutes. It'll stop. And then, like right now, it's not raining at all. And then in another half an hour, we'll get another chunk of it. <clears throat> it is really amazing. I've been looking at the radar this morning. Uh, that some of the that there's some peripheral bands that have extended all the way up to Richmond, Virginia. So you think about that. Richmond, Virginia is 120 miles as the crow flies from our house, <clears throat> which makes it about 180 miles from Raleigh. Which makes it um, I forget how far it is from Raleigh to Columbia, but I, I believe it's another 180 miles, give or take. As the crow flies, you can't get there in 180 miles, but. Well, you might be able to if you go to I-95, yeah, okay, but still, so, you know, you're talking about 350, 400 miles uh, diameter on the storm. Now, well, it's not really diameter because all the rain's on the north, concentrated to the north. There's hardly any rain to the south. There is some, but it's not as, nearly as widespread. Of course, because, you know, <clears throat> the hurricane is picking up the moisture from the Atlantic because it's still close enough to do that, and it's spreading it counterclockwise and so it's going you know from east to northeast to north to northwest by the time it gets to the northwest and western quadrants uh, pretty much all the all the moisture has been squeezed out and of course it's interacting with I'm sure what is drier air to the west as well so oh no I'm starting to sound like my son Jeremy <clears throat> getting all technical but anyway so here it's nice it's 76 degrees it's a nice breeze 10 to 50 same the the wind never really did pick up last night i didn't notice it <clears throat> although to tell you the truth our, our you know i built a a bedroom addition onto the house and i insulated it like there's no tomorrow you can hardly i can't even hear the car start the driveway <laughs> when i'm in bed you know like when lee leaves to go to work i don't know if she's left all the only reason I know is because I hear the door shut. <clears throat> so anyway, we feel fortunate uh, that we have missed the storm. We have a lot of trees, a lot of big trees, yeah, like 150-year-old oak trees. And uh, really, really just don't feel like testing those babies out, you know what I'm saying? Of course, the fact that they've been here for 150 years tells me something, and it's reassuring. And they're white oaks, and so they're not likely to fall unless they become uprooted. <clears throat> and also, one thing we did have going for us is that we, on the back side of our house, to the north, to the south of our house, uh, it's just hundreds of acres of woods in between us and the old landfill. And so, you know, we've got a really good wind buffer from the south. So that's the only time I really worried is when the wind comes out of the south. Now it's coming out of the east northeast. <clears throat> And so everything's blowing the right way. There's no trees that are in that line of <laughs> in that line of wind. So, but anyway, just thought I'd give you an update on that. All of our kids are still doing well. Uh, my second oldest son, Jeremy, lives in a little place called Duncan, North Carolina, which is about seven or eight miles west of Fuquay, Verena. And he has a little weather station that he actually has hooked up to the weather under underground. So they use his data. Uh, where they, you know, they aggregate his data with all the other little weather stations out there. I guess there's a lot of individuals that, that that's their hobby. And so, uh, <clears throat> his, his typical reading was, he says he's got five inches of rain, and 
typical wind speed was about 25 to 30 knots. And he had a couple gusts up to 60. So that was, and still that, that he's still pretty far. I mean, he's 80 miles south of us. So there's, he's still got quite a, still quite, you know, if you think about it, the size of the storm really surprised me. Um, especially, you know, you don't usually associate a big storm with being slow in wind speed. So this is kind of a new deal, I think. I'd really, you know, you'd really have to go back over the records. Of course, I don't know why it was so slow moving, except for the fact that I guess there was just no other real air currents. You know, usually hurricanes get, it's amazing to think that something as powerful as a hurricane can get pushed along, right? But they, they do, and, and quite easily, because they're just like a spinning top. I mean, if you blow on a top, you can make it go wherever you want it. But if there's no wind, it, it just kind of sits around there and wobbles around, right? Alrighty, well, I've rambled on long enough. Hope you all are having a good day. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Like and subscribe. We really do appreciate when you do. We only need 449, 400, no, 549 more subscribers to reach that magic 1,000 subscriber mark so we can start making money off this. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> but we do seem to add a couple people every week. I guess, you know, in about 10 years we'll make it. All right, see you on the next one.